Hey everyone, okay, so um, I decided I'm going to make a little cooking video. I'm trying a Weight Watchers recipe that I got emailed to me the other day. Um, it's spaghetti pizza mm -hmm. and it looks absolutely delicious and uh, one serving of it is eight Weight Watchers points plus points. So um, it's not really that bad either. So I, I will uh, copy the actual recipe um, and the nutrition information for people that aren't doing Weight Watchers. Um, mm -hmm in the down bar below this video and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Alright, so to make the Weight Watchers spaghetti pizza recipe, I'm using um, this Catelli Healthy Harvest whole wheat spaghetti, um, some eggs, um, sea salt for seasoning, um, 1% milk, part skim milk, uh, this low in fat pasta sauce with mushrooms, it's like my favorite spaghetti sauce, um, some pepperoni, part skim mozzarella cheese, um, some oregano, <laughs> oregano for seasoning, and uh, some garlic powder for seasoning as well. Um, so... This is a, a recipe that I got emailed to me from uh, Weight Watchers, um, and it looked really, really good. So I'm going to give it a shot tonight, and um, I'll let you know how it turns out. Alright, so I have taken two egg whites and one whole egg and beaten it um, in this bowl here. I have also sprayed this pan with uh, some Pam. Alright, so I've added um, garlic powder, oregano, and salt. Um, it also calls for... Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, I'm going to post the recipe in the down bar for this, um, for the measurements of everything and whatever. But I don't typically measure out my... Like, I don't measure out my spices and stuff. I just... I usually eyeball it to taste. Like, we're a huge garlic family, so I always add more garlic powder than it actually calls for. Oh, and I've added milk to this too. Two-thirds of a cup of uh, part skim milk. And then garlic powder, salt, and oregano. Alright, so my spaghetti is cooked. Why that? Al dente. Um, so I'm going to just drain it and add it into um, my other mixture. Alright, so I've added the spaghetti to my mixture, so I'm just going to stir it all up. And I actually also added um, a third of the mozzarella. It calls for the recipe calls for um, nine ounces, I believe, of uh, shredded mozzarella. So I added a third of that to this mixture as well. So I'm just gonna. It smells really good. <laughs> it does. up. Alright, so I'm just pouring it into my baking dish. Just like that, and then I'm going to spread it into the baking dish. So, that's basically what it looks like. Um, now I'm going to throw it in the oven at uh, 400 degrees for um, 15 minutes. Alright, so I just took it out of the oven. I just well, touched it with my bare hands. That wouldn't have been very good. Um, so, this is basically what it looks like out of the oven and it smells and looks amazing. Um, so I have turned the oven down to 350 now. Um, and now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my light low fat pasta sauce and I'm just, I'm going to just spread it all over. You guys can't really see that, can you? 
Maybe that's better. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna maybe like there. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting better at these cooking videos, I promise. Um okay, so I'm gonna just pour my pasta sauce all over. And then I'm just gonna take my fork from before and just kinda spread it out so that it's like evenly covering all of the lovely, wonderful spaghetti mixture. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's good like that, I think. So then, I'm gonna take my moss, my part skim mozzarella, and oh, I just closed the bag. Okay, and I'm going to just sprinkle that all over the top. be good. Now the recipe actually called, it says to put the uh, mozzarella all on and then put the pepperoni on and that'll be that. But I like to put some cheese underneath and on top of my pepperoni. But anyways, so I'm going to put some of this pepperoni on here. And there's, oh, this, that pan is hot. Um, So I'm just going to spread my pepperoni on here. And then you, only, then you give the, another slice of pepperoni to your dad. You know what? Here you go. And then I'm going to put more mozzarella on top of the pepperoni. Don't do that. What is that? It's spaghetti pizza. Ooh, shit. Yeah, because it's spaghetti. Alright, so just like that, and then I'm going to throw this in the oven for 30 more minutes until the cheese is all bubbly. And you stand back 12 feet when you throw it. Alright, so there's the finished product. Um, I'm just going to cut it up and serve it, and I'll let you know how good it is.